Welcome to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Is having a religious denomination the same thing as sectarianism, and is it a sin? All right, so today we got to define some words. All right, we're going to begin at the top. The word is religion. Now, I know you expect to understand what a religion is. However, contrary to what most sociologists would say, I'm going to speak from a theological perspective. There are what we call nine major world religions. All right. We're just going to talk about Christianity today because this is the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. And I'm just going to presume this is a question in regards to Christianity. When you take that one religion of Christianity, there are so many variations. There are so many differences. There are so many divisions. I mean, think about it for a moment. If you've ever been to a variety of worship services, what we might call a Pentecostal worship service compared to a Greek Orthodox worship service are literally night and day. So you have the religion of Christianity, then it breaks down into what we call denominations. A denomination is a belief system within Christianity where, shall we say, doctrines of distinction are different than others. I mentioned Pentecostalism and Greek Orthodoxism. Well, even within those two, by the way, great extremes, you have varying doctrinal distinctions on what we know or whom we know as the Trinity and very different views on what we know as baptism. So the denominations are a distinction in particular doctrinal accounts within the umbrella of Christianity. Now, a cult, and I know the question didn't regard a cult, but I do want to address it. A cult is when a group within a religion, in this case Christianity, takes a doctrinal distinctive of the faith, baptism, trinity, whatever it may be, and they build an entire belief system on that one single doctrinal distinctive. The question, though, was about sectarianism, and sectarianism is where we distinguish ourselves in the practice of our faith, even if our doctrine doesn't change. So, for example, you may have or known or be aware that there are certain uh, Christian groups that believe that you should wear a certain attire. Uh, that maybe, for example, that women shouldn't be allowed to wear makeup or they should cover themselves from head to toe. And yet those same people would have the same doctrinal beliefs as other people who don't see the dress code concerns. And so that would be called sectarianism, where there's a different, uh, shall we say, means of practicing the faith, even though the doctrines of the faith haven't changed. Now, the question is, is it a sin? Well, the only thing that can be defined as a sin is something that goes contrary to the word of God. And this is where we get some interesting divisions here, because you'll have some that are sectarian who think that those who do not practice the way they're practicing are in sin, when actually the Bible does not address what they're practicing as a sinful behavior. And one of the things that I think is important for this question and many others is that it is what we believe, according to 1 Corinthians 3, the foundation of Jesus Christ, that is so critical. Should we practice sound doctrine? Of course, the New Testament uses the word doctrine 52 times. It's how we, quote, live out that doctrine that can cause a lot of difficulties. And allow me to give just an air of caution that if somebody, quote, lives out their faith in regard to clothing or maybe a certain day of the week or whatever it may be that is different than yours doesn't mean that you, they, or either one of you are living in sin. It may just be a different way of expressing the same doctrinal approach. So I'm real careful uh, to label a different way of maybe doing music or maybe a different way of dressing as, quote, sinful behavior just because it is particular to that one sect or that group. So just as a kind of a, I guess, from the bottom up, uh, there is the practice that would be sectarian within the doctrine, which would be a distinctive beliefs within the, quote, religion of which there are nine major world religions. So if you want to use myself as an example, as we wrap this up, uh, that I am a Christian as far as my religious practice, uh, denominationally, you would have to label me as a Baptist, maybe even more particular as a, quote, unquote, Southern Baptist for a lot of different reasons. Uh, but when it comes to the sectarianism of that, uh, that is really where really my culture comes into play. I live in the southern part of the United States, and oftentimes we practice our faith a little different than those in the northern part of the United States, but we hold to the same doctrinal truth. So again, at the end of the day, sin is when we go contrary to the word of God. Oftentimes our individual preferences can be the sectarianism, which 
at times are not even sinful behavior? Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.